All right, guys, welcome back to the Queen of Wands. As you know, I am Pat. Welcome. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I know it's late at night, so I hope you guys get up and have a positive day, okay? Thank you for joining me again, and welcome to this channel. If you like my videos, please give me a shout, a thumbs up, okay? And um, I really appreciate all that you do for the channel, your comments, your loves, your likes, and thank you for subscribing as well as the new subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys, okay? And um, I have, like I said, my new uh, products coming out, all right? I'll be posting those on the community board, so you can look out for those as well and all of the specials. Okay, and I have decided that um, some specials that would be everlasting and I'll let you guys know about those. Okay, it will be the same special over and it, it was a good uh, deal. So I'm just going to keep it like that forever and you guys can purchase certain special bundles. Okay, so however, let's get off into the energy and I have some karmic energy for you guys this time around. Okay, the karmic energy. So let's find out what's going on. I feel like jealousy, envy, hatefulness, jealousy, seriously. Okay. And, um, I feel like it's a lot of financial concerns. So let's get off into this. The karmic energy is dead weight. Somebody feel like they're just heading on, holding on to dead weight. This could be a codependent energy. Okay. Somebody's constantly playing games mind games. All right. You can see right through this situation. This person is transparent. All right. Somebody's trying to play games and get pregnant. Somebody's trying to trap someone with a child. All right. And the other energy is that someone's not sure of who the baby daddy is. It's a question about whose child is this. All right. And it could be an earth sign. Okay, it could be an earth sign that's in question about somebody's doubting who the baby's father is. Okay, um, this is someone wants to heal a relationship. All right, this is a divine masculine. You could be a feminine who have a child with your divine masculine. Okay, but they might want to heal this relationship with you. And this person is, they feel like you're forever love. You are forever. You are sincere. You are the one that they want to be with. But however, they're stuck right here being a player. All right. This is a whole nother deck and they still stuck in here being a player. Okay. With the karmic. All right. This karmic right here, they could be definitely manipulating, putting things in the masculine's head, just manipulating their mind with bullshit. All right. Due to their own insecurities, the vine saying this bitch is shady. Okay. Um, it's something about some receipts here. They're definitely cheating on the karmic. Here's some receipts and here's lipstick stains. Okay. This person is a cheater and this karmic is trying to get the masculine to go to marriage counseling. All right. So this is a fake bitch who's trying to um, get the masculine into a counseling. But yet behind the scenes, this bitch is putting magic spells on people trying to fuck with their money, their love. Okay. This is the same bitch who's being fake and trying to take the masculine. Let's go to marriage counseling. While I do the voodoo in the background, okay? That type of energy here. Look at that. This person's angry. It's a lot of bitter fighting and shit going on here because this punt person is cunning. This is a cunt bitch, all right? This is someone who's very devious and jealous. This could be a blonde head bitch. Only take what resonates with you, okay? If it don't, let it fly. And these, you guys could be seeing crows. So there's definitely messages coming in. All right. This is someone who's envious and jealous, who is definitely plotting against you. Okay. And doing magic against you to work against this connection. But however, she's trying to fool the masculine like she's pure and innocent. Okay. And really it's a conniving cunt bitch. All right. The next energy right here is, um, control. She's definitely trying to control the masculine, his energies, trying to keep him stuck, all right? And this is probably what he did to her, try to keep her stuck. So now she feel like we're going to be stuck together. This person is angry because ain't shit working out, okay? She know this person cheating, all right? Here's the karmic partner who thinks she's winning, but she's losing. The person is draining her fucking money. She don't even have no more money in the fucking bank. This person is sucking her dry, all right? So she don't even, she's failing to see that. Okay. And also divine said this person could be losing their money because of spell work. All right. They could be reaping what they sown doing spell work. They could be losing their money while they're casting money spells on you. They're losing their own money and that's their karma. All right. 
somebody definitely wants to heal. The karmic could be trying to get the masculine to heal their relationship or work on them or go to marriage counseling. The karmic could be telling the masculine, I'm your feminine. We have a spiritual connection. Okay. It's something new here. We can work this out and be happy. All right. So there's an unexpected text message coming through here. The karmic might want to text you, divine fam, and tell you something here. A surprise message, communication. This karma could be trying to connect again with the masculine if they broke up. All right. Yeah, she's trying to connect with this mature man. Okay. Trying to communicate again. But this person trying to find themselves because they now realize that this relationship has went nowhere. And they keep going back into the same toxic cycle. Okay. They realize this relationship has not grown. All right. And they just want to be happy. All right. And they don't feel like they can be happy with this person anymore. They just want to enjoy their life here. And um, they want romance. You know, and they're trying to think positive about romance. And this is the karmic trying to think positive that they can work this out. She's telling the masculine, we can be happy. We can do this. It'll work out. All right. So the masculine continues to fall back into that trap. Continues to fall back in the karmic trap that this relationship will work out with the karmic. Okay. But it always end up being an open relationship. This is what they have. An open relationship. The masculine goes out and cheats and sleep with multiple different people. And then he go back to this person. So this is all they have is an open relationship. So basically, and it's just gossip around this situation. You know, so this karmic might think that she's trying to build something and work out something and go to marriage counseling and all this kind of shit. But the masculine is still having an open relationship with this person. So it's almost like he's not willing to work out anything with this person. He's just still want an open relationship. Okay. So Holy Spirit, let us know the karmic energy here. What's going on with the karmic? How she feel about the twin flame union? How does she feel about this twin flame union? Holy Spirit. The karmic energy, please let us know the karmic energy. She's playing mind games with the masculine. Okay, she's just playing a bunch of mind games here. This person is a stalker. She could be stalking the masculine. Okay, and she wants revenge. So this is how she feel about the twin flame. Okay, collective. Holy Spirit, what is your other messages? This person is doing definitely dark magic on you guys. And this union, she's definitely doing evil eye as well. This is how she feel. This person is overly jealous. And this is why she's going broke. All right. And this person is very dangerous. All right. So be very careful and make sure that you be aware of this energy. This is what your masculine is dealing with. This person is very vengeful and jealous. Okay. So if your masculine is coming around, be aware. All right. Be protected. This is a message I have given out on several readings. Okay. This person is very obsessive and aggressive. They're starting fake accounts. Some of this could be on Instagram. Okay. They're very focused on you. You're this person's bullseye. You're their target. Okay. And they could be paying someone to hurt you. Okay. And just be cautious of this because this is like a target and they're paying someone to make you a target. So just be careful. Okay. God don't like ugly. This money is going to be snatched right away from you. Okay. God don't like ugly. And that's why divine saying somebody could be trying to pay someone to hurt you. And this will be turned right back on you. You'll be the one who get hurt. Okay. Divine not playing anymore because somebody is physically trying to hurt somebody. Damn near kill somebody here of jealousy and envy. All right. So just be careful because divine see what's going on. This is not a private conversation with divine. Divine, see what you're doing here. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo! I told y'all I have a strong connection with divine. They said they see everything and they will face karma for this. You will face karma. Okay. Hmm. Divine said, I see what's going on here. All right. And now this person is going crazy. They could be facing karma right now for plotting this against you. All right. They could be losing everything. They could be drowning. And that's why they're going crazy for trying to hurt somebody's life like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why they're going crazy because they're facing karma for trying to hurt someone's life. 
okay? Hurt someone physically, all right? For trying to be a doppelganger, your copycat, and it's not working out. So now they're getting fed up here. They're getting highly pissed off, and they're losing patience with you, Divine Film, because they can't duplicate your energy, all right? Because Divine is stepping in and putting karma in this person's life. What you put out, you're getting back. Everything has been returned to the sender. And that's why this person is pissed off because you're not failing. You're not getting hurt like they're paying people to do against you. You're not losing. You're winning. Okay? And that's why Divine said it has all been returned back to the sender. All right? So now this person is jealous and pissed off and they want to take some type of physical action towards you. Okay? Physical action here. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. They're plotting. They're still trying to hurt you, even though they're facing karma, and they have been warned, and your ancestors are protecting you. Okay? But Divine said they're blocked. They will be blocked out of your life completely. So they said they got this. Don't worry. They will not have access to you anymore. You are protected. This person, this energy is blocked. And if your masculine is still tolerating with this person and going back and forth, they're blocked as well. And both of these people will be put out of your life permanently. Okay? Permanently. And now they're angry because they don't have any access to you. And everything that they're trying to do towards you is not working. So they're angry. Because divine is protecting you. Your ancestors are protecting you. Okay? So now they're this. Desperate. Okay? Just be aware here. Moving into the next deck. Karmic Tales. Okay? And look at that. It's a witch bitch. Somebody who's trying to act like a divine femme. Somebody who's trying to act like a high priestess. Okay? And it's not working out. Because divine see everything. You can't hide. I told you guys, divine know the conversations. They see shit that we don't. All right? Somebody's trying to put a GPS tracker on somebody to find out everything. And like I told you guys, make sure you check your car to see if there's a GPS on there. Okay? Somebody's just a fucking party girl. This could be the Kermit. Just like to party and hang out. And she also could have a GPS on the masculine's car to find out where you guys live. This person is definitely tracking. Okay. The next energy is here is um, they want a forever commitment with this masculine. They want this commitment and they're trying to force this masculine into being committed forever. This masculine don't have a clue about commitment. They free will and all he knows about is open relationships. This masculine energy feel like they can go and fuck whoever they want to. They don't know anything about a commitment. All right. The karma could be mad because you guys blocked them on social media. Blocked them completely. They can't get on. You always feel that energy and you always go in and block somebody. You already know what's going on here. And this is sexually transmitted diseases. So the karma could definitely have a sexually transmitted disease. And they could have given this disease to your masculine. They could have brought this home. Somebody's just out here having sex unprotected. They have an open relationship. I feel like the masculine have a few karmics. It's more than just one. All right? Definitely no money in the fucking bank. Somebody's definitely getting declined. They don't have any money. Divine going to take your money because you're using it the wrong way. All right? And the masculine could be spending the karmics money on other bitches. Look at that. And just be careful, Divine Femme. Somebody could be trying to check your bank records. Somebody could be trying to steal your money. The karmic could. Trying to go into your accounts and see what's going on. Hack your stuff. Steal your money. They want to see how you get your money. They could be hiring somebody to hack into your accounts. All right. Some of you guys could have Wells Fargo. But somebody's definitely trying to steal your money and get into your bank account and hack your accounts. Okay, so change your passwords. If you notice anything funny, contact your bank. Okay, and remember, it is a paper trail here. The bank and the police can always find out who is doing this. They know where it comes from. All right, I've been told. Okay. Holy Spirit, what else we need to know about the karmic? That they put love spells on the masculine. Trying to hold the masculine to them. 
okay? Because he's not interested in them. And this was the same energy last time. He's not sexually interested in this karmic. And that's why she's trying to put love spells on this karmic, on the masculine, so he can stay with her, okay? They're headed for a divorce. So she's trying to stop the masculine from divorcing her. This person feel heartbroken, but this was an unrequited love situation here, all right? And they trying to hook up with somebody. They could have hooked up with somebody that the karmic knows, all right, and vice versa. And the karmic could have hooked up with somebody they know. And this kind of led to a, a divorce, but also just not interested in this karmic energy no more. The masculine just not interested. And she knows that, and that's why she's trying to put spells on this person. All right? This is a toxic connection. The friends, the family, and everybody just toxic in this masculine's life, and he don't see that just yet. Okay? And it's just a lot of gossiping and talking bullshit about each other in this connection. It's very toxic here, okay? Any more energies from the karmic Holy Spirit? Yeah, it's a private investigator, a private detective. They could have hired somebody to find out information on you or the masculine, all right? Or also a private um, detective could be watching the karmic. Could be watching the karmic. It could be something, it could be something going on with the karmic that an investigator is watching that person. Yes. All right. So it could be also, I hear CPS, Child Protective Services here, but this karmic energy is definitely under judgment. There will be a final decision made here. Okay. It's definitely something going on here. So they're definitely facing their karma and that's why they're getting upset and judgmental and envious, desperate. Okay. Things are not going right here. It's definitely something legal going on in their life. All right. So just be careful that you don't end up in jail, all right? Yeah, and it's something to do with receipts. I feel like it's some fraud, you know? It's some receipts here. Money has been spent that's not accounted for or, you know, I feel like it's fraud. Identity theft, credit card theft, all right? Yep, and they want this masculine to marry them. They want to save this marriage. So your masculine could be possibly getting a divorce from a wife, and now a karmic wants them to marry them, okay? Hmm. But also, this karmic could know that the masculine wants to marry you. Yes, yep, and they're comparing, you know, themselves to you, divine fam. All right? This is the karmic. The old news, and this is you, the new news. And, and the masculine could be comparing you guys to see who you want to marry. Like you're a fucking comparison for a damn karmic. Ain't that something, okay? He could be comparing y'all to, to see who he want to marry, all right? Somebody's definitely trying to do kitchen magic. Divine saying this is amateur man magic. Somebody don't know what the fuck they doing. They just wasting time, energy, and money. So if they try to do something towards you, that shit backfired. All he did was lose money, and they're trying to do kitchen magic to get this masculine to marry them. And Divine call it kitchen magic because it's amateur magic. It's not working. they just wasting time, energy, and money. All right? Hmm. All right, so let's go on and see what's what else is happening here. The karmic is very angry, all right? And that's why she's doing black magic. She's very angry and hurt. She feels like she got competition, all right? This is fearless energy. She feel like this masculine is not afraid of her. So she get up to Annie a little bit here. Look at that. She could be injecting the masculine. All right. She's definitely putting something in their foods or their drinks. All right. Your masculine might start looking older and uglier. It's a blood sacrifice going on here. And the first thing I hear is period blood. They could be putting period blood in the masculine's food. All right. And just the ugly nastiness of um, oral sex while you're on your periods. And that's what I'm hearing. Okay? They could be convincing the masculine to do that. Okay? This masculine placed this person up on a pedestal. He thought this person was the shit. And it was all due to sex. All right? And blood sacrifices to make this uh, masculine see them differently. It's like a sexual entity, a sexual tie. And the masculine probably put this person on the pedestal due to sex and lust. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? 
All right, integration. Yeah, this person tried to integrate the masculine's bloodline. This is a bloodline that's been a history, but they're trying to keep it integrated. Keep this masculine under their spell, under their entity, okay? They want this masculine desperately. They're going through every avenue to try and get this masculine, okay? But Divine said it's just kitchen magic because ain't shit working, all right? They're very passive, aggressive. They don't say much, but they sneaky as fuck, okay? And they're angry, so they mad. So they don't say nothing, but then they go behind the scenes and do the dirty work. All right. They go behind the scenes. They're greedy. And this is how they see your masculine as greedy. He don't give out nothing, but he want everything. All right. Treacherous energy here. Definitely a snake energy. Somebody has all intentions on poisoning somebody. Just doing all kind of voodoo, evil eye work to kill somebody's energy. To keep them trapped to them. To bring them down. Somebody's very treacherous. It's a spider energy here. Somebody trying to get somebody caught up in a web of lies and a bullshit. I feel like a dynamic energy here. Look at those blood red eyes. It's a snake here. So this is a lot of vicious energy here. I hear venomous snake. Yeah, to keep somebody stuck in their illusions. They're definitely trying to keep somebody stuck in an illusion. And especially about you, divine fam. It's all an illusion. All right. They start trying to keep you from growing too. This is you, that butterfly. Somebody's trying to keep you from growing too, divine fam. They're very jealous and insecure of you. All right. And this is unfazed. All right. This is like, they really don't care. Unchased. They don't care. You know, they just want to stay in this dark energy. They want to rule somebody. Somebody could have red hair. All right. They're very aggressive here. And it's unraveling. Their mask is falling off. Everything that they're doing to this masculine is starting to get revealed. It's about to be exposed. Okay? This is a soul seeker. They want the masculine soul. All right? They want everything for the from the masculine to be theirs. Mm. His whole soul, body, flesh, everything. They want it all. They don't want you to have any of this masculine. They want this masculine damn near to turn dynamic, dynamic just like they are. All right? They want his eyes and his demon energy as well. They want his soul. Okay? And they want the masculine to see you as worthless. All right? Because this is how they feel. They want you to feel this way too, Divine Film. Like they're not good enough. Like you're not beautiful enough. It's like they want this masculine to just, you know, drain you and make you feel empty. Like you're not deserving of anything else, okay? And this is they're tempting the masculine, all right? There's, this is seduction. They're trying to keep his head confused all over the place. Through injections, through blood poisoning, through sex, everything. They're trying to keep this masculine tied up, okay? And this is the summoning, all right? Divine is summoning this masculine out of this. But they're so stuck in this energy here of this temptress. She's trying to summon, okay, this masculine her way. She's trying to claim this person. She wants control over this person. Good Lord. But divine keeps saying this kitchen magic is not going to work. Look at that. She vicious. See, this is, a, um, I'm not going to lose. This person is very dangerous. They're going to every extent to get this masculine's energy. They're doing all kinds of rituals, everything. But Divine said nothing is working because the time is up on this shit. This person is um, getting their karma and the masculine has basically closed off. All right. Divine could have had helped this masculine close off from this energy. Shut this shit down. All right. Because look at this masculine was dealing with a black widow. This person was damn near trying to kill the masculine, poison them or do anything they can to get this masculine stuck. All right. And just don't be surprised if the masculine find out that somebody had a life insurance policy on them. All right. Yeah. This masculine, she wants this masculine to be old and lonely. 
Look how old and ugly he look. Your masculine, I'm telling you, when you see this person again, if you do, this masculine is going to look so different to you guys. He have really take, taken on a lot of emotional, physical abuse, their heart space, their energy space. They could be unhealthy, drained, drugs, everything that happened here. They went in another direction and it damn near cost them their life. They struggling now. Because they chose unrequited love with this karmic. And this put them in a dark place. Okay? It clouded their vision. I told you this person going to be different. You don't know this person no more. We've seen this card before. They're going to look really different. They might even act different. They could have gained some weight, lost some weight. You know, they got dark rings up under the eyes. They could have lost their hair. They just ungroomed. They're not the person they used to be. Whoever this is, they're killing them. Look at that with poison. They think that the um, karmic thing, this is the cure to keep the masculine all to herself. It's to poison him, to drain him. And the masculine want to be left alone. Because the masculine is starting to feel different. Their health, their looks, they're starting to feel different. And they don't quite know why. And that's why their vision is clouded. Because they don't understand what this person is doing to them. And all they see is you, a lighter version of their life. And they feel like they're losing hope. They feel like you're losing hope. All right? It's like they're losing hope that you'll still be there for them. When they come out of these shadows of this darkness or who's ever watching them and guarding them. As you see the eyeballs down here. Okay? They could be asking for resurrection. They could be even seeking a tower moment to get out of this situation. They don't understand. Their mind is bogged and confused. Okay? Because they chose this secret love affair with a karmic. Okay? Okay? And also, this karmic could also be having a secret love affair right up under their nose while she's drugging them and tearing them down. This karmic is all about control. And Divine said the masculine went into unknown territory with this person, with somebody they didn't really know. All right, somebody they was creeping around with, having affairs with. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? About this karmic, about this dark ass energy. Yes. They said, be cautious of this person. This person is very vicious. Okay? This person could even be a tarot reader. This person is a psychic vampire. This is someone who sucked your fucking energy away. Okay? They don't have any, any good intentions on you. And all this is, is about desire and lust. Okay? Till death do us part. This person wants to kill the masculine. You know, this person feel like if we can't be together, then you will be with no one. Okay? So just like, be careful here. Because this person was a procrastinator. This could be how they were looking. How they used to look. Normal. But now they look different. But this person procrastinated on leaving a toxic situation. And now it has increased into devilish magic. You know, sexual entity, blood ties. They kept themselves in a situation too damn long. And let somebody take over their life. Okay. So Holy Spirit, tell us what we need to know about this karmic energy here. What's going on with this karmic energy, Holy Spirit? Let us know about this karmic energy. Yeah, all right. This karmic energy is, they thought this was true love. They thought this love was true. They thought this karmic was the shit. They thought they could feel this person. This karmic could have been telling the masculine that we have this connection. This karmic could be watching all kinds of videos and using some of the same technology and words and everything that we use in our readings to tell the masculine. I'm your twin flame. I'm your divine feminine. You see our telepathic communication, but this is headed for nothing but divorce, a separation. That's what's happening here. 
What else do we need to know about this karmic energy, Holy Spirit? What's going on with this karmic energy? Gossip, bullshit, rumors. Here's a bunch of cards here. Healing. The masculine could be trying to heal from this situation, this divorce or a separation. He is solitude, stand to himself, unsure about where he want to go, what he want. He desperately trying to connect with you, divine fam. But he could be desperate in a lot of other situations, legal situations, financial situations, living arrangements, children, employment, work. Just like I said, work. This masculine is very concerned about everything because all he did was pretend. They pretended about everything. And now everything is hitting the fan. Tower moments are coming. The truth is coming out about this whole karmic situation. It was a joke. They pretended with this karmic. Holy Spirit, what's this karmic energies? What's the karmic energy? The karmic will call them back and tempt them again and try to seduce them again. Okay, what's the karmic energy? It's a dying love. This love is dying slowly but surely. But she gonna call him back or he gonna call her back. This card don't belong in the deck. Look at that. Because it's all about casual sex. That's all that they have is casual sex. All right, this card don't belong in this deck. But hey, the message is here. It's a dying love. And all they have left is sex in a relationship. All right. But they could have a family. This is a masculine who could have some kids with a karmic. But their love has died. All right. And now they have a secret love. And it's you, divine fam. Okay, and they want one last chance with you, one last chance with you because they're in a dying, unrequited love situation, but they feel helpless to connect with you because of their situation with the karmic. Okay, and they know that you have been waiting. What's the karmic situation? Divine film, you always step into this karmic reading. Okay, you sure do. All right, because you changed this person, you made them see life. In a different way. You made them see love in a different way. This person was wearing a mask. But you personally removed this mask off your masculine. Because they became transparent to you. You were able to see right through this masculine's energy. Alright. They became very transparent to you. Alright. And this masculine somehow thought that you were supposed to jump up and cater to them. They might have fucked you over. But they were waiting for you to, to apologize. Alright. Because they were stuck in an ego. But now they realize that they can't move on from you. They're hurt without you. They really want you in their life. Okay? They want to apologize to you. They truly miss you so very much. Okay? They really do. But they chose sex and money and whatever else over you. But Divine saying they was kind of coerced into it through magic. Okay? This person makes silent moves. They do things, you know, silently. They make moves without anybody knowing, all right? And they try to erase you, all right, out of their head, their heart space, their memory, but they just couldn't move on without you. They really tried, Divine Femme, but look, they can't move on without you. They just can't. They miss you so very much, and they have really tried, and they're struggling with that, okay? But Divine saying it's your choice if you want to deal with this person. All right. It's your choice. All right. Because they have nothing but fucking drama going on right now. It's your choice. If you want this drama in your life, this person is on the verge of connecting with you, calling you back to see what you have going on here. Okay. But they are still a fucking player. They are still a player. Okay. So you got to be aware of that. And this person, they can't find anybody that's comparable to you. And they have really tried. Look at all them heads down there. But they done killed all those relationships looking for a replacement for you because they don't want to live up to what you expect out of them. Okay? So they try to replace you and with love triangles. And you're not down for this. All right? They can't find anyone comparable to you. So that's, that's why they just have multiple lovers. It take about eight motherfuckers to, you know, compare to you, Divine Femme. Because you have so many qualities, okay? 
and they can't find all of these qualities in in any of these bitches, and that's why they get multiple bitches, okay? But divine saying maybe this person is not for you, and maybe you should just keep them as a distant friend. All right, you require more than just a friendship. You don't want a friends with benefits relationship with this person anymore. All right, but they're definitely trying to strategize a way to connect with you, to get you back in their circle. Thank you. And divine saying, this person is not for you. Mm. So they're trying to find it. And divine saying, because you are fucking different. And don't try to settle like they settle for other motherfuckers. Don't settle for someone you know is different from you. Don't try to, you know, uh, make this a compatible relationship when you see how toxic this person is. You're holding on to something and someone who don't want to change. All right. And a lot of you guys, you see this shit. You see this person running in and out of your life. OK, y'all got to get stronger. Some of these readings, y'all kind of weak on this shit. All right. Y'all can't hold on to a motherfucker who ain't trying to hold on to you. All right. So let's see his energy with this karmic partner. Let's see how directly do he feel about this karmic partner at this time. Holy Spirit. How do he feel about this karmic partner? He feel like this karmic partner trying to trap him with his pregnancy. All right. Or this karmic partner could already be pregnant. And then the other thing I see as karmic partner could be a fucking police officer. Somebody could be dealing with a karmic partner. That's a police. All right. And it could be a pregnancy there. All right. Holy Spirit. Wow. Look at all these energies came out for the divine masculine and a karmic partner. This person keep their head clouded. This is how they feel about the karmic partner. All right. They're trying to find a spiritual side. Okay, they're in a stalemate mode with this karmic energy. They just feel like they're not going nowhere with this person. It's not growing. They like miss growth. They feel like you're growing, divine femme. You was always going somewhere, right? They're looking for signs and synchronicities as when it's okay to leave this connection. They just feel like it's this stuck energy here, okay? But they realize they have a family with this person. They could have a couple of kids with this person. OK, but this is nothing but a toxic, addictive relationship. Nothing's happening here. It's just open. This masculine stay in this energy because they're free to do what they want to do. These cards are here. Thank you. They're free to overindulge. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They're free. All right. And that's why they're in this commitment. Mm. Holy Spirit, give us the other messages that we need to know. They want to surrender. They want to come out of this connection. They're not happy at all. They feel like you complete them, divine fam. You're the missing, the missing key to their heart, to their life. Okay. They feel like they really miss you, but they're so critical about things that they have done, how they've treated you. They know they kept self-sabotaging this relationship. All right. And they want to try to balance things out with you. They want to see if they still have hope. All right. But they're very deceptive. All right. They could be almost ready to reveal themselves and move this deceptive mask. OK. But they need to work on their independence because right now they could be in a codependent energy, depending on other people. They need to set boundaries and don't let people overstep their boundaries. OK. And this says traveling. Somebody could be traveling away, traveling to see you. They want to, but yet somebody's stuck in a lack mentality. So that's why they stay in this relationship instead of moving away because they stay in a lack mentality. You know, it's like they like to struggle. They like to control over the other person and keep somebody like, ugh, it seems like somebody just keeping somebody stuck due to lack. Somebody don't want to grow. Somebody don't want to take care of themselves. They codependent. So they stay stuck where somebody's going to help feed into their codependency and their addictions. Okay. And this is who they work with. Somebody who catered to that energy. Okay. Somebody who hindering them. All right. And who, um, somebody who catered to their addictions, their overindulgence, their lack mentality, their trust issues. 
right? So they made they have major trust issues about moving forward. They scared, and right? They have a lot lot of trust issues since childhood. But divine said they need to awaken, and if they're awakened, then they won't have these fears of insecurity. They have new opportunities if they awaken, but they chose to be sleep and still make energy, and that's why they don't go any place. Okay, that's why they don't really go no place because they stay stuck, but yet they want to reconcile with you. All right, they fantasize about this opportunity, but divine said they have to awaken. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys on this karmic reading. If you like your own personal karmic reading, please give me a shout at queen of wands 50 at gmail.com. All right, thanks guys, I truly appreciate you, and I only know why you guys are separated. Okay. Talk to you later on the next video. Bye-bye.